Bless the Lord, all you his angels, mighty in power, fulfilling his word and heeding his voice. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, welcome to this celebration of Mass from St. Mary's Church in Helston. Today is the celebration of St. Michael, St. Gabriel and St. Raphael the Archangel. Although only a feast in our church, we do treat it with a little more solemnity here in this church for various reasons. Firstly, St. Michael is the patron of Cornwall, so we honour him for that. He's also the patron of our town of Helston, and he is the patron of our sister church at Mullion. And so for those three reasons that Michael is treated with special honour here. On a personal note, he's also my saint as I took Michael as a confirmation name so many years ago. We offer Mass today for our community at Mullion. The first Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy and grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Let us pray. O God, who dispose in marvellous order ministries both angelic and human, graciously grant that our life on earth may be defended by those who watch over us as they minister perpetually to you in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. As today is a feast day, we leave our regular cycle of readings and read those appropriate for the feast. The first reading is a reading from the book of the Apocalypse. Now war broke out in heaven, when Michael with his angels attacked the dragon. The dragon fought back with his angels, but they were defeated and driven out of heaven. The great dragon, the primeval serpent known as the devil of Satan, who had deceived all the world, was hurled down to the earth, and his angels were hurled down with him. Then I heard a voice shout from heaven, Victory and power and empire for ever have been won by our God, and all authority for his Christ. Now that the persecutor, who accused our brothers day and night before our God, has been brought down. They have triumphed over him by the blood of the Lamb and by the witness of their martyrdom, because even in the face of death they would not cling to life. Let the heavens rejoice and all who live there. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
In the presence of the angels I will bless you, O Lord. I thank you, Lord, with all my heart. You have heard the words of my mouth. In the presence of the angels I will bless you. I will adore before your holy temple. I thank you for your faithfulness and love, which excel all we ever knew of you. On the day I called, you answered, you increased the strength of my soul. All the earth's kings shall thank you when they hear the words of your mouth. They shall sing of the Lord's ways, how great is the glory of the Lord. In the presence of the angels I will bless you, O Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Give thanks to the Lord, all his hosts, his servants who do his will. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. When Jesus saw Nathanael coming, he said of him, There is an Israelite who deserves the name, incapable of deceit. How do you know me? said Nathanael. Before Philip came to call you, said Jesus, I saw you under the fig tree. Nathanael answered, Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. Jesus replied, You believe that just because I said I saw you under the fig tree? You will see greater things than that. And then he added, I tell you most solemnly, you will see heaven laid open, and above the Son of Man the angels of God ascending and descending. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The powers of heaven stand at God's throne to serve him, let us ask our Father to make us ready to do his will on earth. Lord, you made the angels to be ministers of your word. By their help, may we bring your word to our brothers and sisters. Lord, your holiness is sung by the eternal angels. May the church on earth never fail in your praise. You sent your angels to watch over your servants. Protect all those who travel and guide them safely home. At Christmas, your angels sang of peace towards people. May their message of peace inspire the hearts of rulers and all people. When the angels summon the dead from the four corners of the world, May your people be gathered as one into your joy. So let us praise the Father with the hosts of heaven. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, 
for our good and the good of all his holy church. We offer you a sacrifice of praise, O Lord, humbly entreating that as these gifts are borne by the ministry of angels into the presence of your majesty, so you may receive them favourably and make them profitable for our salvation through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise you without end in your archangels and angels, for the honour we pay the angelic creatures in whom you delight, redounds to your own surpassing glory, and by their great dignity and splendour you show how infinitely great you are, to be exalted above all things through Christ our Lord. Through him the multitude of angels extols your majesty, and we are united with them in exultant adoration, as with one voice of praise we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Mark, our Bishop, and all the clergy, remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles, with St. Gabriel, St. Raphael, and St. Michael, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Saviour's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. For Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. I thank you, Lord, with all my heart. In the presence of the angels, I will praise you. Let us pray. Having been nourished with heavenly bread, we beseech you humbly, O Lord, that drawing from it new strength under the faithful protection of your angels, we may advance boldly along the way of salvation through Christ our Lord. Just a reminder that there is no Mass tomorrow, being Wednesday, and that Thursday's Mass will be at 12 noon and is and public mass. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended, go in peace. Thanks be to God. Yeah, and